The address is an ingrained tradition in American politics. It is, in fact, it dates back to the first President George Washington in 1790. It serves as a reminder of the balance of power between the executive as well as the legislative branches. This is just a little brief on the significance of the State of the Union address and the shared responsibility for governing the nation. So this address is supposed to provide a comprehensive overview of the United States' current state as well encompassing various aspects like economy, healthcare, foreign policy and national security. So President Biden will of course be highlighting the achievements of mm. his administration as well as well as of course acknowledging the challenges here. And a uh, challenge that he will be facing immediately after his address of course will come from Senator Katie Britt from Alabama after who will deliver the Republican response to Biden's remarks after he wraps up his speech highlighting conservative priorities during a close election year, of course. Now, That's Biden is also likely to push to restore expanded child tax credit for low and middle income families as well as push for action on aid, which is something Shivan and I were just discussing. Mm. Aid for Ukraine, aid for Israel. These are going to be some of the contentious issues as well. The economy, infrastructure, manufacturing, reproductive rights. He's likely to push for all of these. All right, uh, well. him. I think we can see the U.S. president right. in the distance. He's here to a, lo a loud round of applause. And I would assume this is mainly coming from the Democrats. Of course, he's there in his blue tie, waving and of course meeting all the supporters and the senators as he walks in. We saw his cabinet walking in earlier. We see a mix of blue and red ties, of course, all over the building, and that's the bite. That's the U.S. president walking in. A raucous crowd here to welcome U.S. President Joe Biden to the Capitol building here. He's all set for to deliver his State of the Union address, his last before the elections. In fact, this is seen as somewhat of an on-the-job interview. Yes, That's what many have like called that. it as well, it, which it really is. Yes. I mean, this is his moment to make an impact, to re-energize voters, to really strike a chord with the voters, mm. their concerns, address all of the challenges mm. that the administration has faced. Also talk about the achievements of the administration mm -hmm. as well and as you mentioned how he delivers the speech yeah. and that. you know the opposition is marking each and every word right especially when you have somebody like donald trump in the opposition who has his own style of rebuttal you know he's not going to leave any word. keen on a duel as well yes. uh, with <laughs> joe biden he's in fact challenged him mm -hmm. that he's ready to have a debate with him anytime so let's see how this pans out and what the response from the opposition mm -hmm. is as well there you have on your screens U.S. President Joe Biden being greeted by a raucous crowd there in the Capitol building. Now the State of the Union address, it happens to be a monolithic event. As I mentioned earlier, many are calling it an on-the-job interview for mm. Joe Biden. Ingrained in tradition in American politics, it serves, it's supposed to serve as a reminder of the balance of power between the executive and legislative branches. It's really a time for the U.S. president to reach out to the electorate in the United States and this is going to be his last State of the Union address before the elections and a likely rematch between Donald Trump and of course Joe Biden. We're expecting a comprehensive overview of the United States current state including aspects like the economy, the health care policies on that, the foreign policy and national security. Biden is expected to highlight achievements and acknowledge challenges as well. His age has been a concern mm. in the lead up to the elections, in the lead up to this address. So that is something that he's expected to address as well. And of course, this will truly set the tone for future endeavors of uh, not just the Biden administration, but also for the United States as a whole. 
Again, the economy, infrastructure, manufacturing, reproductive rights, tougher migration rules, lower drug prices. Biden is likely to push to restore expanded child tax credit for low and middle income families as well as push for action on aid to Ukraine, among other issues. But as he does, the 81-year-old president will be closely watched, not just for his message, but for whether he can deliver it with a good command on himself at the moment, I would feel. US President Joe Biden is, of course, he's in attendance now and the address will be starting shortly, just stopping momentarily for a little photo op. And as he makes his way to the podium, US President Joe Biden is delivering his last State of the Union address before the next elections. And this year's speech will be the third State of the Union address for Biden. Now, Gaza war, that is likely to be a key part of today's speech as well. Many reports say that the U.S. military will set up a temporary port of Gaza to enable speedy delivery of humanitarian aid as well. Meanwhile, several members of the U.S. Congress wore the Palestinian cafes ahead of Biden's speech as well. These were the visuals that were coming in right now, of course, on your screens is U.S. President Joe Biden, as Sean mentioned, stopping for a couple of photo ops here. Mm -hmm. But we did see visuals earlier of many uh, members of the U.S. Congress wearing Palestinian cafes ahead of the speech. He's taking his time to make it to the, to the podium. I mean, he's going to take <laughs> some more time. Stopping for each and every photo op that he's getting in the middle. Really soaking it in. Of course, a lot of support coming in from his entire side of the clan. All the Democrats, you know, continuing their round of applause for him. It's been a num few minutes now, but still, uh, you don't see the applause dulling down anytime soon. A lot of selfies being taken yeah, there a lot as of well. Them. He had someone's phone in his own hand at the moment. Right. He just turned it now. Of course, and not to forget, this is the election year and he has to acknowledge everyone as he makes his way in. He needs to ensure he has as many people on the right side as he can. I think these are just slight signals that he, what he is attempting to do at the moment, of course. A lot of handshakes, a lot of selfies, a lot of hugs as the applause continues. Now on your screens right now, that's US President Joe Biden and for all our viewers, that's also a snapshot of all the key issues that are likely to be addressed, tougher, uh, tougher migration rules, lower drug prices, the fentanyl crisis, that's something that the United States has been in the grip of as well, expanded child tax credit, that as well. There's going to be a push for action on aid to Ukraine, the Gaza war, that's likely to be a key part of the speech as well. Well, also in attendance of Mr. Biden's State of the Union are six of the nine members of the Supreme Court there in the U.S., There he is, gradually making his way in. Again, this is... He doesn't look... Of course, he is uh, he's the US president. He's not going to look nervous, but he has his task set out for him. And he knows it more than anyone else. He has been ensuring and trying very hard to tell people that, no, he's fit. And he is ready for another term, another number of years in office. Well, uh, there he is, climbing the stairs now. All right, no fumbles on the stairs. And there he is at the portico.
interacting with his vice president. A salute, and there he starts. All right, him now. This one is going to be what they listen for the whole of world course, at the moment. It's the biggest stage to reach millions yes. of voters, weighing whether to vote for him. Of course, it's going to be an elevator pitch of sorts. Yes. So the opposition is going to be watching very closely as well. Looking up into the stands. He's meeting each one in the eye, of course. He is ensuring that keeps everyone on the right side. This is the election year and his third union of the, the union address.